when all you have are the clothes on your back, a fresh shirt or a pair of trousers is a big deal. Because with life on the streets, you often get forgotten. There are approximately 3.1 million people living in Nairobi, and career teacher Clifford Oluoch knows that. Few Nairobians know what a cold night on the streets means, or the impact that a helping hand could have to put up with a life on the outside. I realize that nobody's doing that. Most of the people I know will appear on a weekly basis. I used to feed them on an one on, I mean, on off basis. One day I just said, no, I think enough is enough. I realized that no, it has to go beyond feeding. Soon, we'll watch a street feeding initiative called Homeless of Nairobi had turned into a safe haven for street children in Westlands and Parklands. Currently, with Homeless of Nairobi, we have a daily feeding program uh, in Parklands, Deep Sea. Then we have a children's home in Dashir, which caters for the ones who want to go back to school. And then now we are uh, venturing into, um, should I say what, income generating programs. Actually shoe polishing with some of the street, street boys or street men as you can call them. The ones who have been unable to go back to school. We also have, uh, we, we have a lot of linkage with other rehabilitation centers like Undugo and Mwangaza. So right now as you're talking, two of our boys have graduated from Mwangaza and uh, they are at KCITI in Italy, where they are undergoing some vocational training. More than giving them one square meal and spare clothes, Oluoch, or Odijo, to his newfound family, takes time out to talk to each of the boys and girls who come his way, managing to change the way some of the boys view education. Boys like Joseph Kenyanjui are better for it. Decision. You can make good decision, you can make a good decision, you can make a good decision, you can decide to do it. Also on the mend are Andrew Masharia and Andrew Kenudhia. Both are former street boys who were once in the grasp of drugs, also turning to crime to survive. I was in the street. I was in the street. Andrew Kinodia, on the other hand, moved to Nairobi to live with his aunt. While at school, he discovered he had a talent for acting, which he nurtured until the group he had joined parted ways. However, that did not stop his descent to street life. Mwanzo, ilikuwa ni budango alifanyanga kudedi. Ndiyo ni kachukuli yangu na anti yangu. Saa kurudi kwangu ocha, ilirudi. Ile time, hii kundi yangu ilifanyanga kubreak. Hii ya acting. Saa ndiyo nilienda anga, nikapua huko, nikona kuna vile nafanya. Nika feel ni kama nika rudi huku, ili ya Nairobi, naza pata maybe nini, kundi ni join, niendele na nini yangu. Ona, ama nipata vile naza pata mpenyo hivi. Na hiko, Robin. Not all the people that live on the streets are Kenyan. Rebecca Bimba escaped civil war in the Democratic Republic of Congo and would rather scratch out a living here. Although Rebecca moved to Kenya with her husband, she has not seen him since he left and never returned. She now faces challenges of finding food and shelter to sexual assaults from her male counterparts. Kulala katikati ya wabwana, wengine wanakunyu ya pombe, sangini wanapigana usiku, na... Perception of the homeless as dirty and outskirts has an effect on how they live. Sangine tulikuwa tunenda logota chakula pale kusalit, lakini ule manager kama ni manager kama ni nani, alitufukuza hapo. Should I say being harassed by the, by the society? You know, kind of being paralyzed, you know, kind of nobody wants to talk to you. Which is again very, should I say, ironical because 
when I go and donate clothes and give them clothes, they won't wear the clothes. They'll keep them somewhere. Why? Because if they're clean, no one will give them money. This automotive engineering class is a world away from the streets. The skill sets here will help them build new lives, unimaginable when they had to snatch phones to pay for drugs as street boys. If we can be able to go back and bring them on board, give them skills, and then uh, with time, using those skills, they'll be able to blend with people doing the same skills and clans who require the same skills and they will be able now to socially come to a level whereby we say, yes, these people socially, uh, economically, uh, they, they are up to task. For Oluwatch, charity begins at home. He lives by the idea that you don't need a lot to start, you just need to begin. I tell people stick to your lane, you know, kind of right. Don't don't try and do what I'm doing. I mean, from my family alone, my wife cannot stand what I'm doing. She went to the streets once and said, "No, forget it." Uh, neither can my younger daughter. But my older daughter and I, we we are different people. So we say stick to your lane and that kind of thing. There's no problem, okay? But what you have to ask yourself, from where you you, I mean, you you most likely you you have a house girl. Most likely you have a watchman, you know, kind of, you have all those people who are struggling. Start from there. 